Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're checking out this awesome Lilliput 12.5 inch 4K native resolution production monitor that can handle up to four different camera inputs. Lilliput recently sent me out their brand new A12 production monitor for review. This monitor has some really special features that I was excited to check out and haven't seen in other monitors at this price point. In short, the A12 is a $600 monitor with three major features, native 4K resolution, up to four camera split view, and a size of 12.5 inches. In the box, you'll find the monitor itself, a visa mount adapter, various cables, an AC, power supply, a ball mount, and a nice monitor hood. For I.O., the A12 sports four HDMI inputs, with one being HDMI 2.0, so we can get 4K up to 60 frames per second, a DisplayPort input, 3G SDI in and out, a headphone jack, and a 12-volt power in. For battery power, there is a simple Sony MPF plate on the back with a quick release button. I tested the battery life with a fully charged Sony MPF 970, which is one of the larger batteries, and got 3 hours and 45 minutes of runtime when monitoring at 4K, which is pretty great considering this is a 12.5 inch display. When flipping the monitor over, you'll notice my biggest complaint with this unit, and that is the glossy screen. This causes two issues, the first being fingerprints. Enjoy the look of your new monitor because it'll never look this clean again. And the second issue is reflections. This didn't bother me a lot, but if you're in a very bright and reflective space, you might run into issues if you do not use the included hood. For rigging the monitor, there are four quarter 20 mounts on all four sides, making this an easy display to set up for really any production scenario. The size and weight for this monitor is perfect. It isn't made of the most robust materials, but it is light and thin, making for an easy to pack setup. The A12 has an IPS LED backlit display with a brightness of 400 nits and a contrast ratio of 1500 to 1 with great viewing angles at 170 degrees, which I always like to see. Outdoor viewing is pretty good, especially with the included hood installed. And this brings me to the uses of this monitor, of which there are many. The first and obvious use is as a camera monitor. With that HDMI 2.0, you can monitor cameras with resolutions and frame rates up to 4K at 60 frames per second, which is amazing. This monitor has a native resolution of 4K, and I immediately noticed the difference. The slightly over 12 inch size coupled with that 4K resolution make this monitor a dream to use. It's amazing how much more you can see on a larger, higher resolution monitor. Checking composition is awesome on this thing, and you can clearly see any noise or lack of noise with this sucker. It's really, really good. The fun doesn't end there though. Using those inputs, of which there are many, you can set up a multicam showing up to four sources at the same time. This is really handy for multicam situations, and since this monitor has a resolution of 4K, you can still make out a lot of the detail for each of those cameras. You can set the monitor up in a quad or split view as well as a picture-in-picture -picture mode for two cameras. I found myself mostly using the quad view or single view as split view distorts the image and it's kind of gnarly. Once you've got one or more cameras connected, you can customize the layout of the cameras and even choose what audio sources will be monitored via the headphone jack. Another great use for this monitor is at your desk. Using the HDMI 2.0 input, I was able to use the display as an official AV output in Final Cut Pro 10. The size is perfect for mounting off to one side or even underneath my main display. You could use a simple tabletop tripod like this for landscape or vertical orientations or mount the monitor to a cheap visa mount and use it like a traditional display at your desk. Moving on to assist features, there aren't many but the basics are there. To access the features and menu system, there is a simple click wheel that is also the menu button. Once in the menus, you can easily navigate and use the click wheel to select options. And on the functions page, you'll find several options, including center mark, safety, aspect marker, aspect ratio for anamorphic, underscan, pixel to pixel for checking your focus, check field, freeze, 
peaking and finally false color. You can program any two of these assist features to the two function buttons on the top of the monitor for easy access while shooting. Overall, this is a fantastic monitor with so many uses. There are only two things that bother me. The main one is the glossy screen. The glass face is edge to edge and since the bezel is so thin, which is really nice and a good thing, you end up touching and getting the screen dirty no matter how you handle it. The other downside is the quarter 20 mounting holes are a little too shallow, so some mounting gear won't work very well. So that's gonna do it for this review. Just a couple final thoughts and things that I like and didn't like. Um, I'm really enjoying the size of this monitor. I was concerned about the weight of it, but as you can see here, it works great on top of a camera. It's thin and light enough where you really don't have to worry about the size. Um, I also really dig the size and that resolution. Those two things paired together make it a fantastic monitor for monitoring your camera. And of course, the fact that you can connect up to four cameras is just great and lets you have a lot of flexibility with something this size. Yes, it's a little glossy, um, but all in all, I think it's well worth the $600 price tag. Again, if you want something a little more manageable in size, you can drop down to the 10 inch, I believe it's the A10 instead of the 12 inch, but that's really gonna do it for this video. You can check the links to this monitor out in the description below and subscribe here to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.